He was killed in battle nearly 67 years ago, never to be found. Private First Class Charles Fallacy was among the Korean War's fallen, but never forgotten. And for his family back home in Minneapolis, they finally have the answers they have long sought. As Bill Hudson explains, the veterans' remains were laid to rest today with full military honors. Among the monuments at Fort Snelling National Cemetery is this marker to Korean War vets. 7,740 remain missing. PFC Charles Fallacy was among them. They never really much talked about it. They kept it to themselves because it left such an emotional gaping hole for them. A hole that turned to hope with old glory waving under blue skies and warm breeze. PFC Fallacy is coming home. There's probably a, a great sense of relief from the family. In November 1950, family in Minneapolis learned that he was killed in the Korean War, ambushed while retrieving other dead soldiers. Wallace's remains were returned by North Korea and only recently identified through DNA. It's important that as a nation and as a service, the United States Army, that we pause and uh, we, we show the, the correct respect to a fallen comrade who's being returned home. An Army honor guard would carefully fold the flag covering his casket, presenting it to older brother Sig. What? Then a volley of shots and cry of taps to give this former MIA his long overdue tribute. Charles was in the Army, Charles was in Korea, but we never quite got the full details of what actually occurred. A nearly 67-year-old tragedy of war that's mystery no more, with a marker among the brave, an eternal rest in his native soil. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. The soldier's family says repatriations like this one should give hope to relatives of other MIAs and POWs.